In my previous video, I, uh, I said that I was a dreadful, terrible racist. Now, we've had a lot of feedback on, uh, on this thing, and people have said we're playing into the hands of the left. Now, I don't think we are, because when someone like me stands up and says this, and we have been attacked in the past by hope not hate and unite against fascism and these sort of people, you would expect them after that to launch into us, and they haven't said a word. And the reason they haven't said a word is because they know that I'm right. When I talk about defending my culture, heritage, history and people, I'm not morally in the wrong. They are morally in the wrong for trying to destroy it, which is why they've said nothing. So I don't think that was, uh, that was a mistake by any stretch of the imagination. And the other thing that came back on this was people were saying, what do you mean by your culture? You know, surely your culture that you want to defend is just something that is historically unpleasant and it's full of imperialism and slavery and racism and murder and yada, yada, yada. Well, it's a lot more than what the left tell us. The left tell us that, what is it? It's all of those things and it's dancing round a maypole. That's it as far as they're concerned. But our culture, our British culture, is part of Western civilization. And Western civilization is the crowning achievement in the history of mankind to date. You go back 3,500 years to when it really started on the slopes of Mount Sinai, when Moses made the Ten Commandments. You fast forward from there 2,500 years ago to the democracy of ancient Greece and Pericles and you fast forward another 500 years to the year dot, the Christian year dot, when Christianity came in, when Jesus came in. And Christianity is a hugely important part of our culture. Lots of people don't really think it is because they've grown up in this society and they simply assume that this is what it's like. But the way of looking at it is we're not Hindus, we're not Sikhs, we're not Muslims, we're not Zoroastrians. We are who we are because of these bedrocks of our founding civilization. Greco-Roman, Greek, democracy, the rule of law, equality before law. And the Ten Commandments essentially said, this is the golden rule. When you put them all together, this is the golden rule. This is what makes us what we are today altruistic. No, the golden rule essentially says treat others as you would expect to be treated yourself. Now that doesn't exist in Islam, for example. It exists with us and it's hugely important. Now after the rise of Christianity, we went into the Dark Ages in Europe. But then out of those Dark Ages, Christianity was operating all the time. Out of those Dark Ages we came into the Renaissance and the Renaissance saw a flowering of art and literature and music and this is part of our culture. It's not just dancing round a maypole. This is part of our culture. And then in the 16th century we had the Protestant Reformation and on the back of that was built America, which is part of civilization, Western civilization that comes from England, from Britain. After the Reformation we come to the Age of Enlightenment where everything finally came together to provide what we would call today the universal rights of man. Again, hugely important. This does not exist in Islam. Islam, in fact, has its own version of the universal rights of man. They call it the Cairo Declaration on Human Rights in Islam. And, of course, Sharia law trumps every single human right. So when people say you're an Islamophobe, I certainly am. It's a default position. I believe in democracy and the universal rights of man. So I have to be an Islamophobe because they stand against that. So our founding bedrock of all of this was our Greco-Roman heritage, coupled with the Renaissance, the Reformation, hugely important again. And it combines to form Western civilization today. And staying briefly on, on Christianity, I'm not going to go on and on about Christianity, but staying briefly on it, St. Paul said that we 
we are uh, we are one of the people or words to that effect quite frankly I've forgotten his exact words but what he was talking about was that we are all members of the same people and this brought up something that we would now call altruism and altruism is when we look out for other people this doesn't exist in Islam in Islam it is family tribe finally the country but but for us it is it is people around us it's community and this again is extremely important altruism and Christianity stopped slavery children at school today are not told very much about William Wilberforce and the fact that we stopped slavery which still goes on today in the Arab countries but we did and William Wilberforce was a committed Christian he thought that it was unfair and unpleasant so he stopped it and this is something that we should be very proud of and this is part of our culture the culture that the left tell us exists only to dance around maypoles but it's part of our culture and it's much more than that as well because when you have a humanitarian disaster what do you see happening you see the West going in to help the West going in to help after the tsunami for example American warships deploying their military in times of human disaster you don't see Arab states doing this because they don't really care we care because we are altruistic and that is part of our Christian background at the end of the Second World War Japan had been bombed we could have taken over Japan we could have raped and pillaged Japan we could have done exactly the same thing in Germany but our Christian Greco-Roman heritage stopped us from doing that our altruism stopped us from doing that we rebuilt Japan we rebuilt Germany we didn't go in and take them over all part of the culture of the people that we are the culture that the left finds so unpleasant and wants to destroy and replace with something that we've seen historically doesn't work we've seen it operating in Eastern Europe and in Russia and in Southeast Asia and in Vietnam we know what that's like and we don't want that stuff in this country so it's who we are this is who we are the absolute pinnacle of Western civilization was built around British culture look at the world today look at New Zealand Australia Canada America built around our culture this is the most humane tolerant decent society you will ever find in the history of mankind and we built it our culture built it and don't let the left tell you anything other than that because that is the truth and we know that the left do not like the truth and what it really means is what it really comes down to is that it's not just the word culture what it what it is it is freedom and it is liberty and that is what millions of our countrymen and people that left our country to go to America and Canada and New Zealand and Australia it is part of their culture and that's why they fought in the last war against genuine evils the genuine evil of Nazism we also in the Cold War fought against the genuine evil of far-left totalitarianism which the left want to bring back into this country today which is called communism or could easily be called socialism we fought against that and now we're fighting against the left which is our primary enemy and Islam who are simply their foot, sol their foot soldiers they are just the pawns they've imported to break down our culture break down our country break down our people this is evil it's immoral it is wicked and it has nothing to do with the culture of my country you go into the towns and the cities of England and Britain today you will not see British culture operating you will see a foreign culture operating that is not humane it's not kind it's not decent you go into the villages you will still see our proper culture you'll see it behind me here I'm in Salisbury behind me is Salisbury Cathedral you will see it here this is what we're fighting for and we are going to fight for it and we are going to continue to fight for it and there is absolutely no way that every single one of those millions of people that sacrifice themselves for my culture 
my country and my people are going to put those deaths that they incurred to be forgotten because they are not. So we're going to fight and we're going to fight and we are not going to stop and we are on a roll now. We are starting to build and we can only get stronger and we are going to win this. And if you want to help, please join my party, Liberty GB, and please do everything you can to make sure that good triumphs over evil. Thank you. My name is Paul Weston.